Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones. Let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes. I hope that you are all doing well and feeling lovely. You know that I wish for all of those beautiful things for you. My beautiful Libras, anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section. One-on-one -on -one bookings as well as a link to your free natal chart so that you may explore all of those beautiful energies that lie from within inside of you. Beautiful, beautiful Libras. This is your weekly forecast report. So let's get into it, beautiful ones. Yes, I pushed it off because I was so tired, okay? And I came home, I recorded for Leo. So if you have any Leo placements or you're dealing with a Leo, be sure to check that out, okay? Because Leo's energy was so, so on point. I'm telling you, look, beautiful ones, right about now, the wanting gibbous moon is what we're in, okay? So that's that phase to where the moon is wanting, the energy is like swaying and swaying, okay? It's still potent out there, all right? You may be able to look out into the skies and still see the moon, okay? And, and it looks as if, you know, uh, that phase of it is slowly, slowly evaporating. It's wanting, okay? So it's in Aquarius. Right now, we're in Aquarius. And the Leo read that I did, beautiful ones, it really described how you're being affected, okay? Everyone is being affected by the moon being in Aquarius. This is about being free, okay? Or wanting to feel free. Are you know really understanding your emotions about and how your emotions are when you are around other people? Uh huh. Really getting out there and being in touch with how people make you feel. Okay, so this is that time. So if you're feeling like you're noticing some things about your inner emotions how make you, people make you feel when you're around them. This is when you could pick up on energies who make you comfortable and people who don't make you feel so comfortable in the energy. So beautiful ones, we dealing with the moon and Aquarius right now. And that is your sister sign. It is an air sign. So you're going to pick up on a lot of this energy mm -hmm. as we shift, all right? But definitely um, the muscles, the thymus, the Achilles, uh, the ankles, uh, those are the things that um, Aquarius in this energy phase moon affects. So be careful out there. Get your stretch on before you get off into any type of um, activity that's going to require for you to really, really uh, show off, right? So, beautiful ones, let's get into it, okay? This is another edition of your weekly forecast report. Yes, we're going to go ahead and tap into the energy and see what is happening. What is happening with my beautiful, beautiful Libras? Yeah. You know, I came home, I felt kind of bad doing um doing Leo before I did you all. Um, I'm going to keep it real. I was like, uh-uh, but... <laughs> You know, I started, you all know I wanted to do a summer solstice for everyone. And I'm going to tell y'all, look, I've done a summer solstice reading for Pisces. And I quickly realized everybody ain't having a good summer. Okay. So if you have, I'm going to do Pisces, but it's not going to be a summer solstice reason, reading. I did manage to get a couple of summer solstice readings out. However, Pisces, I had to stop and I actually recorded it and I erased it. All right. Because it's some Pisces. They're not going to have a good summer. I'm going to tell you straight up like that. Okay. But we'll see that play out in the energy. Beautiful ones. Yes. Let's get into this energy. 
These are general readings. However, be sure to take what is yours and to simply leave what is not. We're going to tap all the way in. I love you all. I want to send peace, love, hugs, and kisses, and caviar wishes to the tribe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Beautiful ones. Let's get into it. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. As I channel these messages, I ask that my beautiful Libras are protected as well in the energy. We're starting off today with the higher self, Oracle. Uh-huh. Seeing things in our highest self. What's going on with Libra? What's going on with Libra? Wishing you all the most beautiful this week to come. Libra. Pause for Libra. We're going to pull six of these, okay? In reverse, okay? I mean, I have the deck upside down. Let's talk about it. Libra. Okay. I got that one that wants to come out. And that one, Dreams. And these cards are not read in reverse. All right. Hmm. But I keep in mind when I see how the energy comes out, where a difficulty may lie, uh -huh. just like this forgiveness that's in the reverse okay there isn't some forgiveness happening in the energy okay but i'm gonna turn it up and it's when it comes to love okay so forgiveness your overall energy is in reverse all right and it's when it comes to love beautiful ones let's talk about this energy up out here uh-huh you got boundaries that is your first card out here you set some boundaries libra you set boundaries Beautiful. That's you and your queen of swords energy. Making sure nobody crosses the line. Or they might get that sword. Uh-huh. Yeah. Dreams. Your dreams are here. You're following your dreams. You're having dreams. You're getting communication in these dreams. You're being guided. Yeah. You're being guided in your dreams. You're being told to pay attention to your dreams as well. Start your dream journal if you have not. It doesn't take anything but a mead notebook, okay? It doesn't have to be anything fancy. If you want something pretty and sweet looking, do that, okay? You're Libra. You know what's up. Get something real Venetian, uh-huh, and tap into your dreams so that you can decode them. Because in your dreams, this is how you get these different downloads and direction, okay? From the ancestors, from your spirit guides that want you to pay attention to your dreams. You got gratitude that's here in the energy. And gratitude is a frequency that communicates with the universe and tells the universe that you appreciate what is here for you now so that it can really get ready to pack a beautiful bag of more for you okay uh-huh it's more where that comes from but if you're not acknowledging to the universe what it is you have now and being in the energy of gratefulness for it then you're actually slowing down the process of what it is that is being brought to you in the energy okay you got courage here okay this is strength this is also leo you could be dealing with a leo all right you could have Leo in your chart, beautiful ones. But there are some boundaries that you set. And this is about you standing strong, like, you know, 10 toes down on the boundaries that you set. You got direction that's next to courage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in this card, it's... Northeast, west, south. Yeah, this is about the direction in which you're headed in. And you're headed in the right direction is what I'm getting. I feel like, beautiful ones, you are ascending to your highest self, your north node, okay? Your north node. You're ascending to your highest self, okay? 
That's what's happening in the energy. And I actually want to see if I can find mm, this in the cards and read it to you briefly. Mm, this Palo Santo smells so good. Beautiful ones. Yeah, I just woke up. It's in the middle of the night. Well, it's the morning time right now, okay? It's probably 2.30 in the morning. Out here in California, I want to get this energy out here for you all, beautiful ones. Get your weekly report to really support you throughout the week, okay? Your heart knows the way. Run in that direction. Wow. That's a quote by Rumi, all right? Your spirit desires new experiences and inner growth. At this point in your life is calling for a new route on your journey. Which direction should you go? Your higher self holds the knowledge of which direction will support your dreams. Oh, wow. And look, dream sits right above it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Provides opportunities and leads you to your destiny. Your higher self wants to help you if you will allow it. You're being reminded that you can listen to the wisdom of your higher self, of your voice, of your ego. Mm. And we got courage out here, which is that strength energy that Leo has to do with that ego, right? Uh-huh. So... Hire yourself of the voice of your ego. When considering your path, your ego will always be fear-based. It instills worry and anxiety and will cause you to question your decisions. Additionally, your ego will have you overthink. And overthinking leads to analysts, perilous, mm, self-doubt, and inaction. Your ego analysts... Per perilous self-doubt and leads to action. Hold on, let me see this. And it will push your mind into constantly assuming the worst case scenario as opposed to expecting the best case scenario. If you choose your ego, the indecision and confusion will accompany you on your journey. However, if you quiet the mind and tune into the wisdom of your internal guide or higher self, the answer will reveal itself. What does the particular guidance sound like? The voice of the higher self is a positive, uplifting, and supportive. It comes from a higher intelligence that knows your true desires and route to take to manifest them successfully. It will never mislead you, but it will ask you to take bold steps uh huh, with confidence and faith. Trust that this new direction will propel you to ex an exhilarating journey that will enable you to grow emotionally and spiritually. For further guidance, do some internal research and ask which way brings you the most joy. Which direction excites you the most? What excites you usually is in alignment with your core values and individual strengths. As always, a joyful and emotional response is the right answer. Yeah, beautiful ones. Higher self, okay? Confusion is here. And wow, I'm not going to hold you. Leo had this come out in the same position. In the same position. Imagine that. And then with courage being here, the lion. Mm. There's some things that you've been confused about and that you may be thinking the worst case scenario. You're being told not to do that because it throws you off course, all right? Uh-huh. Connect with the energy that keeps you vibrated. And don't believe the worst case scenario straight off the bat. Okay, let those scenarios prove themselves to you now. The past couple of days, we had this moon that was, you know, that was Scorpio energy that we were feeling. Things were getting real, real heavy in that energy. You may have been having some really deep thoughts 
uh-huh, that made you feel some type of way. But it's about you being in control of them, okay? Beautiful ones, remember your overall energy was forgiveness and it was in the reverse. So these boundaries that you have in your energy, yeah, it's stopping you from being forgiving. Uh-huh. And even when you may say, I forgive, I forgive that person, um, I've moved on, there's still some type of resentment that's being held on to and the energy is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. So let's go ahead. Let's tap more into this energy, beautiful ones. We're going to go ahead and get some energy out here from the Morocco X Oracle. Uh-huh. And see what spirit has to say to you. I love this deck because this deck, you know, as sweet as it is, it's hardcore. And it keeps it real, real. Uh-huh. Really than a dollar bill, y'all. Uh-huh. Let you know exactly what's going on. We're going to pull four of these cards for my beautiful, beautiful Libras. Uh-huh. My beautiful ones. Beautiful ones. Be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if this is your first time here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and have a seat. We're getting into this energy, beautiful ones. If you're here cross-watching, you're welcome. Mm-hmm. Come on in. Yeah, be sure you check your chart. You might have some of this Venetian energy in there as well, okay? Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. It's free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. More cards for Libra. Mm-hmm. Wow. One more card. Oh, wow. Okay, beautiful ones. Yeah. Them cards I just read, basically, this is the same energy that came out for you. Your overall energy is all or nothing thinking, okay? It stops you from growing, adopting, and enjoying anything that isn't perfect. Honor your progress. If you move past seeing in black and white, the world opens up to an array of colorful possibilities. The key is to remind yourself that there are more than two outcomes for just about any situation. Yeah, this is that energy that's telling you, look, quit expecting the worst. And, you know, really, it's all an illusion of what's in your mind. We got comfort zone out here. Fear and uncertainty prevents you from breaking out of your comfort zone. Take a leap of faith. Step into the unknown and do something you've never done before. And you will realize the prize for being brave will be worth the effort. Step out your comfort zone. Prime example. I was looking at all the places I'm going to visit when I take this trip. This solo bolo trip that I'm taking, okay? Yeah. I don't want nobody to go with me. I want to explore people, places, and things. Uh-huh. I want to get up out my comfort zone. Uh-huh. And go get comfortable somewhere else. Because if you don't know that you can create this comfortability everywhere that you go, because it's inside of you first, okay? If you don't explore what makes you feel good outside of what it is that you're just safe in, then you're actually not being brave. You're not practicing that courage. That's You're being asked to. It takes courage to step outside your comfort zone. Negative self-image is here. Mm. Negative self-image focuses on faults and distorts failures and imperfections. Work on self-image. Stop downplaying or ignoring your positive qualities and remind yourself that there is plenty of good about you. Yeah, Libra. Come on now. Yeah. Know, know that everything beautiful about you are the things that 
you can't keep hidden. So other people see these beautiful things about you, but if you don't see them for yourself, it doesn't matter what somebody else sees. So this negative self-image, how you see yourself, this is where that mirror work comes in at. And look, this energy of being able to see yourself in a beautiful light or an array of, you know, really what others see in you. You're being asked to understand that there's more to you than meets the eye. It's the eye inside of you, okay? This is that inner knowing of who you are. So if you're implanting these negative thoughts about yourself, how you look, your life, the situations that surround you, then you're actually setting yourself up for failure when you concentrate on your imperfections, beautiful ones. Kill that noise. It's, I'm going to tell you straight like that. Kill that noise. Get some mirror work in. Spend some time in the mirror looking at yourself and speaking these positive affirmations into your life. You know, I like my hair. I love my lips. I love the arch in my back. I have some pretty toes. Yeah. Speak those truths to yourself so that it supports you with your self-image, okay? This is you keeping it real with yourself. Because if you're knocking yourself and the qualities that you don't like about yourself, you actually hold yourself back. And this is where this limiting beliefs comes in at. It gives you an I can't attitude, okay? These limiting beliefs are preventing you from manifesting your dream life. Wow. Mm. And your dreams came out. Adopt a new belief. Choose something new to believe in that will help improve your life and start implementing things that support your new belief. Yeah, that's that shadow work I just talked about, okay? So if you all... If you have fallen off the wagon, when it comes to speaking these positive affirmations in your life, you can start off by writing these affirmations down, giving thanks to the universe with that gratitude. Always include that gratitude, okay? Thank you for these pretty lips. Thank you for these hips. Thank you for this arch in my back. Mm -hmm. Thank you for my smile. Thank you for my beautiful eyes. The things that you are really, really thankful for, okay? Yeah. And even if you have not given a recognition to yourself as to what it is that you have, be thankful for even having eyes to open. How about that? That's how gratitude works. It's really being thankful for the things that other people actually in life forget to be thankful for. And that holds you back, okay? Mm-hmm. So adopt some new beliefs and implement them. Mental health is here. <clears throat> Excuse me. An ongoing level of sadness is making it difficult to get ahead. Care for your mind. Mental health is a journey that is different for everyone. And there is no one size fits all approach. Be kind to yourself. Keep your goals in sight. And seek help if you need it, all right? Yeah. Anyone that diminishes your mental health or you feel that they are contributing to you being at your most optimum energy when it comes to just being healthy, minded, stay away from those people. And don't be your worst enemy where you are implementing I can't attitudes and limiting your beliefs and having this negative self image and not wanting to get out of your comfort zone. All of that ties into your mental health, okay, beautiful ones? So please take heed. Overall energy, again, is that all or nothing attitude. 
being told to honor your progress. Uh-huh. Honor it. I don't care how big or how little it is. Honor your progress. You're making progress and it's in the energy. You're being told to acknowledge that. Give gratitude to that progress, beautiful ones. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at your money. Let's take a look how, you know, your career, you know, what it is that you're tapped into. Mm-hmm. What it is you're being told to tap into, okay? Let's talk about it, beautiful ones. This is another edition of your weekly forecast report. Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Cards for my beautiful Libra. Cards for Libra. Yeah, Libra, if you are down on yourself or feeling like you have not accomplished what it is you truly want, a lot of it is all in your head, beautiful ones. Acknowledge yourself. Throw yourself a mental party, okay? A mental party of really acknowledging your worth. And prepare to step outside your comfort zone. Some of you need to take a trip this summer and start looking at places to go. I don't care if it's near or far, beautiful ones. Get it in the energy. Uh-huh. Libra. Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. All right. There we go. Overall energy is objective, okay? Writing down your goals will help you in achieving them. Keep yourself on track to reaching your dreams one step at a time. Mm-hmm. That's your overall energy. So there goes another part of that manifestation to keep you in a state of healthy mental health. And support you, okay? Writing down what it is that you actually see for yourself. And staying on track with your goals. Accomplishing them. Checking those boxes, beautiful ones. You got nature out here. It's time to enjoy nature around you. If you feel anxious about a situation in your life or career... Take a walk to clear your head and be healed. Yeah, let nature be your healer. It's the best physician around you, beautiful ones. That's natural and you don't have to pay for it, okay? Yeah, it's natural medicine. Get around nature. Get some grounding. Get Touch the trees. Take your hands and push them up against the trunk of a tree. Manifest. Have an energy exchange, okay, with the tree. Turn around and put your back up against it. Sit down in the grass and meditate beneath it. See, the, this is connecting you to your higher self and the energy, beautiful ones. Get out there in nature. Attention is here. Be careful in making decisions with your finances. Prioritize your needs over your wants as it affects the harmony in your cash flow. Wow. You see somebody sitting at the poker table? Uh-huh. Remember, money, chips, coins, gold, silver, it's all energy, babes. And who it is you exchange it with, the relationship that you develop with it, it's all energy. This is attention. Spirit is telling you to pay attention to how it is you creating these friendships and these relationships when it comes to your money. Who is it that you're making friends with? Mm -hmm. Are you uh, going to buy that those $200 sneakers? Are spending $200 at the bar? You know, there's a, the energy. Who is it that once you are given these finances, this fiat, this money, okay? 
Who are you sharing it with? What's that relationship like? Okay? It's an energy you're creating. So make sure that you keep this energy of your cash flow in harmony with the direction in which it is you're headed. You may need to take a couple of dollars every month or every week and just put it aside to have that conversation with the universe and know, hey, I'm putting this towards me getting out my comfort zone. Yeah, it's that time. It's you creating really your reality. And it starts with you paying attention to the relationship that you are um, engaging in when it comes to your money, all right? Who sees your money first when you cash that check, okay? Is it the liquor store? <laughs> For me, it's the nail shop, okay? So that's my liquor, getting my nails done, all right? So I get it. There are things that you love or you like or you know, I'm not telling you to stop doing any of those things. What I'm telling you is to make sure that that relationship with what you choose to create this energy flow when it comes to your money, that you're paying attention, okay? You're not just, you know, forgetting to pay the bills, okay? Because you need a new purse or you, you know, want to floss, all right? So let's talk about it, okay? Mm hmm. And, you know, this is just common sense, whether we think so or not. But some of, some of us want to make these purchases that we really need to create a relationship with our money to let our money know that we know that it takes care of us. So we want to take care of it. OK, it's a you scratch my back, I scratch your back type of thing. Connections is here. Teamwork makes the dream work. Allowing others to share their talents and skills with you will help your career and business grow further. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And in this age of, you know, really technology, social media, you have so many different ways to make these connections, beautiful ones. Make sure that you're putting yourself out there to connect with people who are just as talented as you are. Okay, that have a skill set that actually can support you and help you go further. Because believe me, if you can find that energy in someone that you connect with, they see it in you too. Okay, marketing is here. You are good at promotions. Apply different marketing strategies to grow your business and continue to innovate, attract more sales. Okay, yeah, you're a natural marketing person, okay? This is, look, beautiful ones. For example, for myself, I am really sharing more with the channel of really what I'm about, what I got. It's so much. Sometimes I'm like, whoa, you know, let me just concentrate on the read, right? But I have fire products, uh-huh, that I'm really like keeping in a vault. But why? I need to let people know about, you know, all of these beautiful things that I have to offer as well. So therefore, I'm, you know, re reintroducing myself okay and so this is what marketing is, is about it's about you introducing what it is that you have that may need some more promoting may need the strength behind it that grows okay grows things and this is about creating a strategy to do that okay so you're really good at promotion spirit is telling you Use this to your advantage and it's going to affect your finances in a way that supports you. Okay, beautiful ones. I love it. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is going to support you in the areas of your money and you paying attention to the relationships that you're creating when it comes to money. Your thoughts. What do you think about money? When money comes to mind, does it make you smile? The things that you have done to create this um, beautiful, transpiring energy 
that you develop when you really tie yourself in with the right, right vibration, okay? With a vibration that supports you along the way. We're going to tap into the sign of the times. Sign of the times for my beautiful, beautiful Libras. Let's see what spirit has for you out here, okay? We'll pull four of these cards as well. Sign of the times for Libra. Sign of the times for Libra. came out. Wasn't that the first card that came out in the last oracle? <sighs> Fence is here. Love is here. Uh-huh. Yeah, those are those boundaries that we saw with the overall energy when it comes to love. Love is out here, beautiful ones. Uh-huh. You've got love. Mm -hmm. You do. Mira is here. Reflection. Reflection is out here. Spirit set pulls six of these cards. Six cards for Libra. One card, Spirit. It's me. All right. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Overall energy is possibilities, the globe, okay? This is really tapping into that energy of getting out of your comfort zone. There's so many possibilities out there for you. Start making plans to get in that energy, okay? Let the universe know that you're in cahoots with it, okay, beautiful ones? You're being called to see things outside of your comfort zone. We got the fence that's here. And this is all about those boundaries. This is boundaries, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That white picket fence. You're making sure people keep things on the other side of it, okay? Yeah. Boundaries are here. Heart is here. You have love. You got love, beautiful ones. Yeah. Heart. Somebody loves you. Somebody loves, loves, loves you is what I'm getting. Mirror reflection. Mirror reflection. And this is more energy. Mm. I want to tap into this energy, beautiful ones. This is the frequency of 20, okay? It breaks down to a, a two, right? So you have reflection that's here. And this is about time alone so that you can bring some clarity. And this is also about develop a self-care routine. Deepen your connection with others. Focus your attention on yourself and your needs. Yeah, this is that energy that's been coming out. Uh-huh. Deepen your connection with others. Make those connections. Get out there. Uh-huh. But also, spend some time alone with yourself and develop a self-care routine while you are alone with self. The things you tell yourself. How you feel about yourself. Your self-image. This is going to support you with all of those things that came out in your angel cards, okay? Yeah, mm-hmm. You got lightning that's here, and this is a disruption, uh-huh. This is something that, you know, is trying to bring some disruption your way, or someone has brought you some type of disruption. That's frequency of 41, and... This energy of disruption is a shocking change. It's an act of God. It's enlightenment and it's unpredictability, all right? So please know that anything that feels like it has some type of disruption in it, that was an act from source saying, hold on, <laughs> let's get it together, all right? It's going to be some turbulence. It's even going to be some interferences that come into play because I am really having an act of this card says an act of god okay so uh, this is you really having an act of god being placed in whatever's going on in your life 
that's going to put things back on course, okay? Because you're in your personal power right now. You're wearing a crown, and it's looking real beautiful out here. This is your personal power. This is your crown. This is everything that has to do with the strength of who you are and how you see yourself, your image. Do you see yourself with this crown? You should, because it's your personal power. Make sure you fix your crown when it may be tilting a little too hard to the left or to the right, okay? Take action, all right? You're being told this is the sunflower here. This is action. This gives me Leo energy again, sun energy. Uh-huh, action, fire, uh-huh. That's that fire energy. That's that wine energy in a tarot. Take action. You're being told to be like the sunflower out here, okay? Full of action, uh-huh. And tap into some of these possibilities that are waiting out here in the world for you, okay? Again, some of you need to look in, start making plans now to do that reflection. And I said that mirror work, okay? Mirror reflection. This is the reflection that you see in the mirror when it comes to yourself. Mm, see how everything is just all aligned. Love, love came out as your overall energy and you being told to have some forgiveness in the energy with these boundaries, right? You got these boundaries up. Make sure that you're applying those boundaries where they need to go and where they need to stay, okay? Uh-huh. And know when to ease up off of them as well, beautiful ones. Let's go ahead and get some energy out here from the Oracle story. I want to see what else is going on in the energy before we get into the Tarot, okay? Spirit, give me cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Give me the energy for Libra. Energy for my beautiful Libras. Welcome to another edition of your weekly forecast report. for Libra. We're going to pull six of these. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Confusion was the last card in your higher self. It's the first card here. Uh, prophecy is out here. Uh-huh. I'm talking to some seers. People who know their destiny already. It's a prophecy. Libra. I said I was going to pull six. I'm going to pull eight. We're going to read this like a spread, okay? A full spread. More cards here. Hold on. Okay. This one fell. And off top. All right, let's talk about it. Wow. Okay. Look, stay on target. First of all, overall energy is reminding you to stay on target. Don't let nobody throw you off your game. Let's talk about it. Mm hmm. Let's get into this energy. You got confusion out here. So it's something that you're very confused about. Are you, it's bringing confusion, okay? And remember, this affects your mental health as well, okay? You pondering on something that you're trying to come up with an answer for, okay? You're trying to understand something. It's something that is confusing when it comes to you and someone else. This is involving someone else. 
This isn't just confusion that you're creating in your head. This confusion involves someone else that you're questioning in the energy, okay? So confusion is a jumble mystery, a miscommunication, a discord, feeling lost or disoriented, fuzzy and befuddled, an unfortunate misunderstanding, a confounding condorum, moral ambiguity, a systematic breakdown, a stranger in a strange land. Yeah, someone has you really in your head about trying to get the answers when it comes to something, someone, somewhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. This person is affecting your thoughts. Uh-huh. And this is why I said this energy that we have with Scorpio being in this moon energy after we came up out of that Capricorn energy, beautiful ones. That that was some mm, Yeah, that was some deep thinking that was going on in the energy. So, beautiful ones, we got prophecy that's out here, okay? Prophecy. And prophecy is all about the things that you see beforehand, okay? This is you looking into the future, and you do not need a crystal ball, all right? This is a vision of the future. This is about you foreshadowing. This is a prediction. This is a message. This is looking forward. This is looking for a sign. This is a revelation. A practitioner of the occult are the divine. Okay? The appearance of magic. A teller. A seller of fortunes. A potential charlatan. Someone gifted with foresight or insight. Be it you or be it me here. This is a prophecy. Okay? You'll see very clearly on my channel, I tell you who I am. I'm a prophetess, okay? Along with a seer, psychic, medium. But there is some prophecies that you're being told right now, even with me speaking to you. But how about what it is that you see for yourself? Many of you have this ability to prophesize or even know how things are going to turn out. But remember, you have to be in control of your thoughts and your thinking so that you're not in this state of confusion, okay? If you let one thing or one person overweigh your thoughts, basically it creates unhealthy mental health, right? You're not doing that to yourself. I don't want you to do it to yourself, beautiful ones. So therefore, we prophesize that this is something that is going to dissolve, all right? And it's going to dissolve through you taking these steps that the universe is providing to you in this energy of the week that I am giving you this forecast, beautiful ones. Yeah, prophecies. Prophesize over yourself, all right? Uh-huh. Prophesize over yourself before you even allow somebody else to prophesize over you. Sometimes confusion will bring us to a state of to where, you know, yeah, let me go ahead and check in with myself. Let me see if I'm in agreement. And then you come to me for confirmation. Okay. That's how I would love for it to be. Not for you to be totally in the darkness of what is going on in your life. I want you to know, already know what's going on and come to me to get that confirmation about those thoughts you've been thinking. Uh-huh. That's how that works, beautiful ones. You become your own prophetess. Yeah. And you fulfill your prophecies, beautiful ones, okay? So we got harder, hoarder here, okay? This is a fear of letting go, hoarding, the hoarder, all right? This is holding on to things that you don't need. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and donate them to the Salvation Army, okay? Give them up to salvation, <laughs> beautiful ones yeah let that let that shit go uh-huh yeah let it go there's some things that you don't need no more you don't even really want them you just holding on to them because because of limiting beliefs okay or many of you just not even taking the time to get rid of the things that you don't need anymore people person places and things all right i'm not talking about just getting rid of that old sweater because it's summertime Mm-hmm. I'm talking about getting rid of those people, those places, those things that hold you back and limit your beliefs. Let them go. We got treasure that's here. Mm-hmm. 
Treasure is here to let you know something very valuable that you have that others seek. Others are looking. Uh, it's like they want to they want to put their hands in your treasure box. You may need to hide some things. You may need to keep some things a secret and not share them with everyone because that's how valuable they are. Beautiful ones, you know exactly what those things are, those conversations. They're, look, don't cast your pearls amongst swines. This is that car. Because as you can see, it's a key down here with a lock, all right? Somebody would love to bust your vote open and have their hands all over your most valuable things, okay? There's some things you got to keep close to your chest is what I'm hearing, okay? You got home. Home is here, beautiful ones. Let's look into this energy of home, okay? Because home is where the heart is. Last time I checked, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. Home is where the heart is. So let's see where home is okay um according to these words okay that they have for you okay just to further accentuate the meaning of home when it comes to really where you feel safe at right excuse me safety security a place of origin Mm, I like that. A chosen place. Familiarity. Family. Where the heart is. A spiritual center. A place one's own. A shelter. A place to rest. A comfort giver. Yeah. Find your way home, beautiful ones. Find your way home. Some of you may need to visit back home where your people's from, where you're mama from or your daddy from you may be being called to get in that energy find your way home it's somewhere that makes you feel safe and secure in the energy okay this could even be a spiritual center somewhere where you can find your way back to self you're being told to really put your place put yourself in a place that provides you to have that comfort and rest in that okay you got work that's out here. Uh-huh. I see this card. First thing comes to mind is you want to rumble with the B, huh? Yeah. Don't nobody want to rumble with you because you're the best at what it is you do. You're the best at it. And you work hard in this energy. Uh-huh. It's, it's something about something that you do, Libra. My beautiful Libras, no one can't touch you in that area. Because you, look, people could sit up, they could study you all they want to. But they can't fuck with you in that area. This is your skill set. This is your gift. This is what it is that's been given to you to work in. See these bees. Look, this is about you putting in the effort, striving for accomplishment operating at peak efficiency, earning a living, diligence, labor, exertion, a place of business, being part of the system, the price of doing business, a worker, a co-worker, a boss, or a colleague. You got people hating on some of your treasures that they see you got in a box, okay? But see, you've already prophesied over yourself. You have already... <clears throat> been prophesized over, okay? So you know where you're going with it. Tap into the skill. You may have some difficulties that could be going on in the workplace as well, or you're being recognized, okay? For your gifts or your skill set by others, and they're acknowledging this. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. Came out in the upright. Because these cards are read in reverse. Messages here. Yeah. There's a message that's in this energy. Somebody wants to send you a message. There's definitely something that needs to be spoken in the energy, okay? 
It's a conversation that I believe that you're waiting. And it's coming in slow because it's coming in like somebody put a letter in a bottle and threw it in the ocean and said, okay, get there when it get there. Uh-huh. That's the energy that I get from this message in the bottle. Yeah, it's a message that you actually are waiting to have this conversation, okay? You definitely have created these boundaries because these messages aren't coming through. And they can leave you in your head and actually add to this confusion that we see in the energy, okay? So let me see if I can see this message. And then we're going to go ahead and move on into the energy because I want to keep this at an hour or not too far over an hour beautiful ones let me get this message when i see this card the first thing coming around mine <laughs> i'm a genie in a bottle baby uh -huh, that comes to mind a genie in a bottle okay so let me find this quickly because i'm looking y'all these pages are not numbered one of the worst things somebody can ever do to a book that offers guidance is not number the pages but i guess this is more so for the visual person who is just going to look at pictures right <laughs> let's talk about it, beautiful ones i want to read this message to you because mm -hmm. it's right next to this high drama yeah you got the high drama part that comes out mm -hmm. and we're going to get into that energy messages here Reaching out or sending word, a line of communication, a distress call, a voice from elsewhere, your eyes only for your eyes only. Hope that a subject to chance. Hope that is subject to chance. Information conveyed, a communicator. Mm. Yeah, this message, once this message comes in, it's going to change some things, okay? And you're looking for it to change something is what I'm getting. You got high drama here. An emotional roller coaster, a spectacle, excitement, and turmoil, a soap opera, everyone in a tizzy, thrills, chills, spills, over-the-top events, histronic and an excessively emotional roller coaster are over reactor okay this is ups and downs and highs and lows and actually people laughing who are really crying inside okay this is also people who find enjoyment if they can create turmoil in your life as well okay beautiful ones high drama somebody got a bunch of drama in the energy and you're being told to stay at work okay don't cast your pearls amongst these swines okay let go of people that you may be holding on to places and things that you no longer need stay out of your head with all this confusion okay prophesize over your life uh-huh Speak beautiful things into your life, beautiful ones, because you got nothing but beauty that actually awaits you. Your overall energy is reminding you to stay on target, okay? And behind that, plot twist, okay? There's a plot twist. So however it is you thinking things are going to turn out, mm -mm. it's a plot twist to it, okay? Yeah, it is. So let's go ahead. Let's get into this energy. Let's get into the tarot. Let's go straight into the tarot. I'm going to use the metaphysical tarot. And we're going to breeze through this energy. Get this prophecy, this direction, uh -huh, this protection that's placed over you. Beautiful ones. Spirit, give me cards for my beautiful leapers. Cards for my beautiful leapers. This is your weekly forecast, beautiful ones. Yeah, cards for my leapers. Cards for my leapers. Energy for Libra. And you know what? 
I just want to say she's cards a little bit. Cleanse the energy. Because mm -hmm. I believe I've gotten a couple of reads in. And have not cleansed the energy off of this, these cards. And I want to give you a powerful read. With clear, concise information from source. Okay. Holy Spirit, bless these words of encouragement and protection over my beautiful Libra's energy. Uh-huh. Give them precise, clear messages that support them for their highest good, their highest self, Spirit. All right. Okay, let's talk about it. Cards for Libra. Esprit. Thank you, Spirit. Cards for Libra. Mm -hmm, you're protected. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at my great-grandfather in front of me. <laughs> you got strength out here. Courage. Uh huh. Leo energy, Sagittarius energy. I'm sitting out up here as I'm shuffling. I'm, wow. Okay, I'm taking this one. I flipped over. That's too many. We're putting those back in. But <clears throat> ancestors came out. Long story short, beautiful ones. You're definitely covered. You're definitely covered. Don't cast your pearls amongst your swines. You got Leo energy out here with the strength card, which came out in your earlier reads. Mm -hmm. Spirit is real repetitive right about now. Uh-huh. Don't cast your pearls amongst these swines. Ten of Pentacles is here. Knight of Wands is here. The Emperor is here. Three of Pentacles is here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Two more cards here for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. We got the world in reverse, okay? Someone doesn't want to close out a cycle in the energy, okay? Mm -hmm. They want to stay connected to your abundance and your wealth is what I'm seeing straight off the bat. You also have the three of cups here, okay? So we got fire out here with Sagittarius and the temperance angel. This is about balance, <clears throat> also restoring balance. Beautiful ones, I'm going to take a sip. Be sure to do the same. water, whatever it is you have, okay? Strength is here. More fire with Leo energy out here, okay? This is about courage and having passion behind that courage and also willpower, subtle power. You have the 10 of pentacles as here. This is about really your legacy, your dynasty, your wealth, what it is you're building up, your treasures, okay? The contributions that you put in towards these treasures. This is Virgo energy, you could have Virgo in your chart. You could be dealing with someone with Virgo in your chart. But nevertheless, this is earth energy that's here. And it's a lot of work that has to be put in when it comes to building this legacy, this dynasty, right? Knight of Wands is here. This is you going after what it is you want. Uh-huh. This is you having energy and passion about it, all right? Mm-hmm. Action. This is that sunflower card that came out in the energy as well, right? This is taking action and putting that power into what it is you want because it's a lot of passion behind it, right? You have the emperor that comes out, okay? This is Aries energy, more fire. We'll tap into this emperor energy, okay? This is about respect and leadership and you being able to create 
stability in your life or having stability. The emperor already comes with a stable platform that it can stand on, that he or she can stand on. Remember, we're talking about energy. So whether you're divine feminine or masculine, this is the energy of you really being in power. Uh-huh. Your personal power, that crown, making sure that mm, you ten toes down when you wear your crown, like this emperor right here, beautiful ones. This is being practical and focusing, staying on target, staying on target with this emperor energy, okay? Yeah, all your energy is so fire and so in alignment tonight. I love it. Or this morning, mm -hmm. whenever this message meets and greets your eyes, please know that it is for you. Be sure to take what is yours and simply leave what is not. Three of Pentacles, somebody's looking to collaborate with you, okay? Because teamwork makes the dream works, okay? This is you building something, okay, together. This is that networking. This is you allowing other people to step into your energy mm -hmm, with their skill set and your skill set. And it's going to contribute to this Ten of Pentacles energy, okay? You also have the world that's in reverse. This is somebody seeking personal closure. This is delays and having no closure. This is something that is incomplete. So someone, somewhere in the energy, you feel like you need some closure and you haven't received that yet. And this is what's causing that energy of confusion, uh-huh? But there's a reason why something's not closing out. Because something has been delayed in the energy. We got three of cups here. And this is the energy. This is earth energy, all right? So this is the combination of our earth signs, okay? Including Leo. This is Saturn, okay? Saturn energy. Someone doesn't want something to close out or the universe is has already conspired that something will not close out because it's some type of unfinished business okay that's what i'm getting we got three of cups that's here this three of cups is about your happiness and also celebrating with a friend a collaboration as well okay so you got these three it's something in creation and it's going to add to your sick your ten of pentacles because you have the Capricorn energy with the three of pentacles out here, earth energy. And then you got cancer out here with the three of cups, three and three and six. Okay. This is creation. Something that is really going to bring you closer to what it is that you're actually conspired here with the universe to bring forth. Okay. As your life's mission. Okay. Overall energy is the higher thing. Yeah, this is you conspiring with the universe, all right? This is about you operating on the level to which you can trust your own wisdom. So let's talk about it. I spit the deck. Yeah, trust your own wisdom because you're the star energy out here. This is you keeping that energy of hope and faith when it comes to really your own spirituality, your connection with source and what it is you're creating for yourself that is an omen, that is good luck, that is fortune, okay? And this is also about rejuvenation, okay? Being told to really put yourself in a space that you can actually drink from some waters that are fulfilling to you, okay? On a spiritual level, okay? Beautiful ones, give me the temperance. Temperance. Thank you. Will of Fortune. Come on now. Yeah. Will of Fortune. This is good luck. You got good karma coming your way. And it's also about life cycles. But it's something in the energy that's destined to happen. All right. And this is the ups and downs that we saw. Them highs and lows. Okay. Might even feel like some high drama. However, this Will of Fortune is here to create harmony in your life. This is Jupiter energy. Okay. Jupiter energy, that's harmony and that's balance that's happening in your life. You've been manifesting. You've been manifesting your overall energy here is the page of pentacles, all right? And what it is you're manifesting is already in the energy, okay? So please know that it's coming to you. Give me the strength. Give me the strength. Thank you. Wow. 
there we go, within boundaries. It's taking you to be able to step into your Queen of Swords energy, Libra. This is your energy, okay? And create those boundaries. Mm-hmm. And be really unbiased about it, okay? It's like anybody can get these boundaries if you're not treating me right, talking to me right, or really coming to me with a clear mind. This is how you clear your mind out because this sword represents conversation that is the truth where you're not left in the fog, okay? Yeah, you could have also Virgo be on the cusp, okay? Virgo Libra energy right here with the Queen of Swords. Your overall energy is the Four of Wands. Look, can't nobody play in your face when it comes to this home front. This is an 11-11 energy. This has everything to do with what is harmonious in your life and brings you joy, okay? This is a homecoming. This is why the home card came out. This is you coming home to yourself as well, okay? And coming home to someone that feels familiar in your energy, okay? These two individuals that you see beyond these four pillars that create stability and passion that come together, those two individuals, they're holding up, one is holding up a bouquet, really to express this energy of really celebrating life with someone who you're meant to celebrate life with, overall energy, okay? This is a fiery energy. This is Aries energy, okay? This is why the emperor's out here. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about it. All right. Give me the ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles for my beautiful Libras. Okay. Wow. Wow. I have to take them. Spirits said take them. You know how they shoot them all out. There's four of them here. Spirit said put it back. Put it back. Spirit, give me one card for the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's a new love offer in this energy as well. And they're a part of your legacy and your dynasty. Look, Spirit is going to keep giving them to me. Someone's holding on, okay? They're holding on tight. This is also you saving money. This is also about you being frugal and you having a really... You could be in a scarcity mindset as well, beautiful Libras. Yeah, get out of that energy. That's a mindset. However, this is about your relationship with money and you knowing where to place this energy, right? Someone is left out in the cold. Somebody feels locked out of your vault. And it could be a king of wands energy who you left out in the cold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You're sitting in this Ten of Pentacles energy and you got someone from your past, all right? Or someone in the energy who is, this is also Scorpio Sagittarius energy, okay? Don't focus on the Zodiac so much, but, you know, if it's your person or if it's in your chart, definitely, you know, make the connection. But this King of Wands energy feels left out in the cold. And they're trying to hold on to your energy because they know you're connected to wealth. They know that you're connected to stability and success. They see you as long-term success. And this is just somebody checking for your treasures. This is why Spirit is telling you to not cast your pearls amongst these greedy swines is what I'm getting, okay? Overall energy... You got new love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give me this energy of the King of Wands. Because you got an emperor out here. So this is this is somebody who is just extra in energy who needs to find their way back home. All right. Yeah, that's the truth. This is somebody who wants to, you know, this is more fire. This is that big wand, okay? This is somebody that constantly has you on their mind. Uh -huh, they see you as a passion project, all right? And they want a new opportunity with you, okay? You're not checking for this energy. I'm not getting that at all because they're under judgment, overall energy, okay? You're not checking for this energy. So they can take their wand and they wish it somewhere else. They all in your energy because they know that you are connected to wealth. All right? Uh-huh. There's a knight of wands energy. This is this energy of being passionate and also somebody going for the gusto. Okay? This is 
Cancer Leo energy. This is that new love energy that we see. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Give me the Knight of Wands. Someone is passionate and they're coming in hot. Okay. They're coming in hot. And it's not that King of Wands energy. It's this Emperor we see in the energy. Okay. Mm. Magician in reverse. Poor planning. Lack of confidence. And narcissism. There's a magician in your energy. It's somebody who's very passionate about you, but they, they're not planning right. They're being manipulated. This is also manipulation. This is somebody manipulated you in the energy. They could have been trying to juggle you. They could have had multiple priorities and, you know, really had some decisions that they couldn't make. They couldn't make any plans because they weren't in the right head space to do so. Give me this magician in reverse with a knight of wands for my Libra. All right. Yeah. This is somebody wants a new opportunity in your energy, okay? This is somebody who... This is about financial abundance, okay? Like I said, you're connected. Look, you're a Venetian energy. So beautiful things like you. They love you. You're at home. That's where you're at home, okay? This is also has to do with your career and a new venture. Somebody sees you as a new opportunity when it comes to prosperity and abundance because you were their wish fulfillment, okay? Could have Pisces in their chart. Mm-hmm. I split the deck. A queen of wands energy is here. This is more Pisces energy and Aries energy, okay? So, definitely, there's the energy of someone wanting a new beginning. You're, first of all, you have a new beginning, okay? And you got the Ace of Wands out here. So, you're creating things and you're leaving people outside that don't belong there, okay? This King of Wands energy. You can get somewhere about your energy. That's why you're here with these boundaries. Look, let me show you how spirit would have it. You see, we got the queen of swords here with her strength, on top of the strength, on top of this Leo. And she's looking at this king of wands like, come here. You need to say something? Go on and say it. I'm going to allow you your peace. However, queen of swords gives zero, zero folks, okay, about it. Because the boundaries are up. Mm-hmm. And she left this energy out in the cold. Bro, trying to look through the eyes of your abundance, okay? And that's where we're going to keep them on the other side. We're not casting our pearls amongst those swine. Let's get into this emperor energy, okay? Emperor. Give us the Emperor and Libra's energy. Give us the Emperor. King of Pentacles. Whoa. Now, remember, the Emperor is all of these kings in one. And this is wearing multiple hats. There's an Emperor in your energy. This is Leo, Virgo energy. You could have a Leo Virgo placement. Give me the emperor and I'm I'm feeling like this is really, you know, the different levels of an emperor, right? Because this is the two of pentacles that's here. This is multiple hats being worn, multiple priorities. Give me the king of pentacles with the emperor. King of pentacles with the emperor. You could have these placements too. But I'm getting this as you got a lot of kings in this energy. You got a lot of suitors, Libra. Okay? That's for my divine masculine and feminine. There's a tower here. Okay? There's a tower here. So what I'm being told is, look, and the message is here. This is speed, rapid action that's happening. A swift change. Uh-huh. 
manifesting quickly in the energy. So this tower, this change is happening in the energy. It's happening when it comes to the energy of these two energies of an emperor and a king of pentacles. It's like something has to fall completely apart. Like how someone is viewing themselves. This energy is in hermit mode. You got an emperor who is a business owner, who is a, like a father figure, a pillar in the community is what I just heard. Okay? There's delays. And the reason why these delays actually exist, Libra, is because of changes that have to be made in the universe before anything is allowed to really penetrate you. <laughs> yeah, penetrate you. Where do I put? I put this wand up here, but it belongs up here. <laughs> we know that the wand is also the phallus, okay? So you got a new beginning. This is how I know this here. King of Wands is somebody from the past. Yeah, you got some new phallus coming through is what I'm getting now, okay? And for my divine masculines, yeah, mm-hmm, scoochie. <laughs> it's a new one coming through. Let's talk about it. Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. This is collaboration. But boundaries is on top of it. Mm. We got the Queen of Wands energy. This is Aries Pisces energy. This is a collaboration with the Queen of Wands energy. Someone needs to step into some courage. Uh -huh. Somebody doesn't want to give up on this energy. Give me the Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands doesn't want to give up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone sees you as a Queen of Wands energy. They see you as courageous. Uh-huh. You could have fire in your chart as well as Pisces placement. But they see you as an independent, focused individual with a zest for life. Okay. This is when you lick your own lips and say, mm, life is sweet, okay? This is Knight of Pentacles here. This is this energy of hard work and productivity, your routine, as well as conservation, efficiency, responsible. You're out here really exuding all of these energies of being a responsible person and being in this energy of beautiful and independently, okay? A beautiful independence to yourself. Therefore, there are some solid offers that's in the energy, okay? This is someone wanting to come towards you with this energy of being responsible in your energy, okay? They're watching you. Overall energy is this page of swords could be somebody younger but ultimately this is all about somebody that has a thirst for knowledge when it comes to you i mean they want to get all up in your business this is also mental energy this person six of pentacles this is somebody who wants to give somebody who wants to come to the table bring something to the table when it comes to you they definitely have a message they want to get to you when i split this here deck this is something they it's like this message is <laughs> I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Like it's heading your way, okay? That's what I'm getting. So expect the message to come in soon, sooner than later when it comes to this Nine of Pentacles energy. Because this is, uh, look, things, this delay that you may see in the energy or feel in your personal life, right? This is a Nine of Pentacles energy. This requires hard work and it requires for somebody to actually put in the work before they come to you, okay? So that there is no half-stepping. I heard, ain't no half-stepping. Yeah, so somebody gonna have to come with something solid in your energy. Give me this here. The world in reverse. The world in reverse. Give us this energy, spirit. Esprit. All right, yeah, you got a new beginning, okay? I, I just heard leave the things of the past in the past there's a new beginning in the energy this is about the possibilities this is that world card right this is that's possibilities energies this is you keeping a blind faith and trusting life 
okay because it's pleasures and opportunities that are here for you in the energy beautiful ones this is the energy for your weekly forecast what it is you're investing in you've already planted these seeds and you got a new beginning because you got a new harvest that's coming through that's what i'm hearing whoa new harvest coming through nine of cups that new love that's what i see for your overall energy this is that collaboration that's here okay this is you coming together with somebody this is you bringing your skill set and it's going to lead to some abundance in the energy with this three of cups give me the three of cups it's cancer energy wow this came out fast this is your energy somebody definitely wants to collaborate with you and this is a difficult decision this could be something that seems like it's been at a deadlock it could be possibly a cancer energy wanting to collaborate with you a libra energy and the devil is the overall energy okay now either they really 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 want to collaborate with a passion or and they're addicted to this energy or somebody's in the energy yeah they're addicted to it this is libra all they do is sit up and think about the libra dream about the libra to be up in your energy and rest in your energy the thoughts of you is what it is that's on their mind they're obsessive with it okay they are spirit give me this two of swords give me this two of swords energy um i ain't taking all of these but i'm gonna take the one that showed his face and that's his two of cups more cancer energy mm -hmm. we're gonna take that two of cups it was a decision that was at some type of deadlock, okay? A stalemate energy when it came to somebody divine, your divine partner, okay? This is a unified love. This is partnership. This is, like I said, somebody is in their head about collaborating with you and celebrating with you. It could be a cancer energy because this is cancer too. And so is this here three of cups, all right? So, unified love, partnership, mutual attraction, proposal, marriage, and connection. And I just heard and can nobody fucking stop it. Excuse my French. Yeah. Somebody is too passionate about this here. Come on now. I split the deck. They stress out about it. They're in their head. They're having sleepless nights about this here energy. It's divine. This is somebody going to sleep every night thinking about what really feels good in their life. And it bothers them that it's not there. It does. Whoa. It bothers them that the Empress ain't there. Okay? Because the Empress out here going through a tower. But here you are, got them stressed out. That's what that tower feel like. Mm, come through, spirit. Mm -hmm, come all the way through. Beautiful ones. This is what's going on in the energy. This is your weekly forecast. Yeah, I'm almost at an hour and 30 minutes. I went past the time. But this is what you need to know in the energy of your week. I don't even have uh, my calendar out here with me. Your forecast is from Sunday to Sunday. I did it on a Monday. Um, so beautiful ones. Enjoy your week. Be sure to hit the like button. All right. Subscribe. Help your channel to grow beautiful ones. And I just want to tell you I love you and I appreciate you all. I'm going to get some angel numbers out here Uh huh. before we close out. And your spirit is telling me to go ahead and pull on this two of cups energy. All right. Because look, you're sitting with the ace of pentacles here. All right. This is a divine union with that ten of pentacles that we already see here. And there's some new phallus coming through. Yeah, I said it. Let's talk about it. Okay. Give me this two of cups. Tell us the energy of this two of cups for Libra. What does Libra need to know about this two of cups? What does Libra need to know about this two of cups energy? Mm, King of Swords. Wow. This is the yin to yo yang. Quit damn playing out here. The Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Okay. This is some honest communication that's going to take place. This energy is head over heart. Okay. And they're going to operate in the energy of being more disciplined. All right. There's some clarity that has come into play when it comes to your yin to your yang. Beautiful ones. Uh-huh.
Yeah. Mm. And they see you as a queen of pentacles energy. And they're here with a cup of love, overall energy, okay? This is a new love. This is a love that is also returning to you from a past life is what I'm getting. I can't make it up. I split the deck to the moon, okay? The moon is about anxi anxiety, okay? That somebody is really anxious in their mind. But this is about having premonitions, Okay, that's that prophecy. These are the things that existed that you know are in the energy that you're bringing to the surface. Okay, this is also your dreams, intuitions, and your fears. All right, and your subconscious thoughts. All right, which represents also the swords, the swords of the king and the queen of swords. Okay, truth, intellectualism conversation that needs to happen or that will happen and it's going to be honest because you're a two of cups energy okay you got a divine partnership a soulmate that the universe is sending to you cards for my beautiful libras okay they're already in your energy it's about things getting made right uh-huh making sure people are got are out the way uh-huh about your business mm-hmm Let's pull one more. Bam. All right. 1221. You could be seeing those numbers. You could be seeing 1221. Two, one. Okay. However, this is about you taking the initiative. Okay. Work with what you have. And it will get you places. Count your blessings and acknowledge your dear ones. You will find inspiration and figure out how, figure out a way forward. You might also be getting some good news soon. Okay? Yeah. I'm a genie and a bottle, baby. <laughs> 0404 is here. Slow down. Yeah, slow down, beautiful ones. Pay close attention to the people in your life, your surroundings, and your physical health. Don't freak out. It's just a warning to be careful and awake to avoid any further issues. Communicate clearly and keep healthy boundaries. That's that boundaries. That's that Queen of Swords energy out here for you. Limitless potential. Limitless potential. You could be seeing zero, 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 and out of zero, four, zero, four, you could be seeing fours, okay, beautiful ones. But you got four zeros out here, okay? And this is limitless potential. It serves as timely, as a timely reminder that anything can be accomplished. If you can dream it, there is no reason why you can't make it reality. If something is in the possession of another person, it is also available to you, so try to remain calm. What's meant for you won't pass you by. Let go of tension and relax, beautiful ones. This is your forecast, weekly forecast for the ending month of June. Beautiful ones, I'll be back in your energy soon. I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love. 133 on the timer. Check the frequency. It'll be more detailed for this channel message. Peace.